Hi guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to model this cool looking railing in Revit. So this is just a wall integrated railing that has lights included in it. It has basically an LED light strip and it looks real good and it's a nice part, part of an interior design so I will show you how to model this in Revit. But before we get started I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. So let's get started. I'm going to be using an architectural template first. So I'm just going to set the units here to meters. Go OK and now let's just create a wall on which our family will be hosted. So I'm just going to place one wall like this and now let's model the stair so I'm just going to go here to stair Let, let's leave it from level 1 to level 2 and let's use the monolithic stair so I'm just going to model the stair like this and now I'm just going to go finish and here I'm going to delete the, this railing because we don't really need it and I'm going to align the stair to our wall okay so once this is completed if we go into 3d so we have the stair and now we need to model our family that will basically go over here and to do so I'm just going to go again here to the start menu go new family and for this I need to find basically a face based family and I'm going to choose this one so face based open it up and here we have it and first I'm just going to extend these this basically face that's used a lot because we need this railing to be kind of long and now let's create a couple more reference planes that's going to help us basically constrain our railing with some dimensions so I'm just going to go RP for reference plane and I'm going to place one like this and one like this and then using dimensions I'm just going to place one dimension like this hit EQ and then another dimension like this and this will be our parameter so I'm just going to select this dimension go here to basically create parameter and type in length so this is our length parameter and now let's start modeling our family so I'm going to go here to create I'm going to be using a void extrusion and first I'm going to set the reference plane by hitting this pick a plane and I'm going to choose this plane and I'm going to go to a right elevation in order to basically model the geometry so I'll just create a rectangle like this and for this dimension I'm going to type in let's type in 50 and here let's go with 100 and for this depth I'm going to go with I don't know something like 70 and now let's model a line like this and let's just trim and extend this in place so do this and here we have this will be just the little pocket in which the LED strip will be stored and let's just hit finish go into reference level and now we can basically lock this to this here a reference plane and lock it to this reference plane as well and now when we change this parameter let's change it to I don't know like 3000 go apply and as you can see our void kind of extended okay so let's just add the rail so again go create extrusion this time set the reference plane again pick a plane and choose this one and let's do it from the right elevation and here where is it we can go into wireframe to see it okay so it's here and let's just model it as a circle hit finish maybe notch it a little bit down this is our void and this will be our railing so go back into reference level and extend it all the way here and lock it in place and do the same thing on the other side okay so once this is completed the only thing left is to create the light family and insert it over here and to do that I'm just going to go to new family 
find here generic light family or generic light fixture metric light fixture and here we have it so I'm just going to go to front elevation bring this all the way down I don't know like 20 now go back to reference level and I'm just going to create some geometry so we can basically see this light in Revit so something real small like that hit finish go into front elevation and just make it real small like so and before we load it into project let's just set the photometrics and here for the color I'm going to go with 4500 go apply so it will be just a very cold light or basically quite white it won't be yellow and here for the brightness or intensity I'm just going to go with a hundred lumens that's quite alright for this because it will be multipli multiplicated many times and now just go load into project and load it into family one go OK and just let's just place it somewhere over here now I'm going to go into right elevation and here's our light and as you can see by seeing this thing over here we can see where our light center is and it's kinda over here and let's just place it like this maybe a little up okay this looks fine now let's go back into floor plan and let's align it to this here so just go align align it lock it in place after that we need to select it go here to array or type in AR and just array it to the end and let's change the number to I don't know like 70 or 60 and go to last and just end a little bit before this end and just go align or go modify align and align this to that and lock it in place so as you can see we have a lot of these families and you can change this to I don't know 50 if this looks like it's too much and now we can load this into project but before we do that we need to select one of these families and go go into edit family and here you need to check shared you have this shared parameter and you go apply load it into project family one override this, this version and here again check shared by checking this shared the actual family will light up in project if you don't check shared the, the light won't work so I'm going to load it into project go project one okay and here it is now I'm going to go into 3d and just place it like so now this probably doesn't look right but I'm just going to select this family and I'm going to rotate it maybe go into south elevation first yeah rotate it and go 32 degrees I earlier calculated that's the actual angle of this stair and now let's just change the parameters so it it's going all the way to the top of the stairs so I'm just going to go to edit type and change this to 7 meters go apply OK and just by moving it a little bit up we get this okay so we have a railing and let, let's just see how that works so I'm going to go to level 1 create a camera place it like so and there we go we have our light light railing and let's just go to render so double R and let's just do a simple setup so I'm going to go to medium for this seam I'm going to go to Sun and artificial exterior and for the lighting I'm going to go to still and let's go with 7 a.m. to have to to make it a little bit dark and go OK and let's render and you get something that looks like this now of course you can play around maybe with exposure maybe make it a bit brighter or whatever or you can go back into the family and you can actually change the photometrics of this to make it 
light up a bit brighter or a bit dimmer depending on what you want to do. Okay, so this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.